So as you can see, it's just really, really responsive, super fast, super strong, to the point where like I'm not used to being that strong. Yeah, and when I first put them on and like tried to pick something up, I was like crushing everything because they're hella strong. And these aren't even the strongest ones. They've also launched the Hero Rugged, which is like the even stronger, faster arm. So as you can imagine, it's pretty crazy, all while keeping it like lightweight, lighter than, you know, other ones on the market. But also one thing which has taken the internet by storm is the fact that they are completely wireless. So if you push the button in, you can actually like detach the hand, which is really weird. So I could just pull it out like that, but I can still operate it when it's not attached. So I can like move it around even when it's not attached to the arm and that's just the same muscle sensors same way i'd move it as if it were attached but it doesn't even need to be attached it could just go on its own missions which is kind of crazy <laughs> fantastic I mean, it's going for the phone <laughs> so i'm literally operating it exactly the same way as if it was attached, but you can just unplug the hand and then clench in that same muscle. I just squeeze to close, flex to open. The hand can crawl away like it's got a mind of its own. So these prosthetics are completely like muscle operated. There's no sort of like invasive chip or anything like that, contrary to popular belief. It's literally, you just stick it on and there's these two sensors, which we call myopods. So there's got one on the inside and one on the outside. You just pop them in. And what they're doing is tracking my muscle movements of my organic remaining limb. So all I'm doing is literally two movements. You've got squeeze the muscles to close, which you can kind of see what I'm doing here and then flex to open. And from that point onwards, it kind of works like a menu system. So I had meningitis septicemia when I was a baby and if ever, anyone doesn't know what that is, it's a pretty fatal disease and initially I was literally told that I was going to die, like I was given 0% chance of survival, but obviously I'm here today and it was after one week in intensive care, three weeks in recovery, a secondary infection and 10 blood transfusions that somehow we got the good news that I was getting better. <laughs> When the doctors came in and said, listen, she's getting better, but we are going to have to amputate her hands. Like anybody hearing that must think that is crazy and like devastating. Like it's a life altering, body altering operation. It's going to change everything from this point onwards. So I can only imagine what it would, must have been like for my family and my parents and that sort of thing. I think when I was do, like dealing with it all, obviously I was so young, like I can't really remember anything that happened but I do know that I was like really stubbornly determined and wanted to be as independent as possible. Hearing people being like proud to show off that difference now rather than having to like hide it away. Um, I feel like that's a thing that all them different people go through, you know, where you start to roll the sleeves down and things like that. But with this technology, it's like people want to show it off 
for the first time and I think that's amazing and like they're my favorite stories you know people wanting to go out in the summertime and wear their little t-shirts and roll their sleeves up and like little kids getting like Elsa inspired arms and you know all their friends at school being excited about it and then being excited about it that's what it's all about.